welcome to Mickey Art. Today, guess what I'm painting? Yes, I am painting my old helmet. Uh, it has come to the end of its working life. Uh, it is old, decrepit, and really should have a hammer put through it. So I thought, well, let's give it a bit of a, a pretty end to its life. <laughs> you know me, I like painting on everything. So that's what we're going to do today. There's a bit of prep work that's required so I am just going to uh, go quiet and get it done. I might give you a bit of music as I sand and tape and prep but that's pretty much all I'm going to do and um, so sand, tape through the gaps so that the paint can run over um, and round the whole thing and then wipe it down with alcohol just to clean it up. So here we go. As you guys know when you're doing a 3d object you're always going to have runoff so i've picked this tray that i've had sitting there in my stash waiting to be chosen for a project um why did i pick it because the helmet fits in it beautifully it will catch the paint and then we can do what we will with it once the helmet is done so i want to keep that up off there so the first thing we need to do is add in a stack of containers which the helmet can then sit on. I'm going to put one more onto that stack just because I can. And just going to literally sit that down in there um, and that will keep it off the ground by what about an inch um try and get it so that it's relatively straight and then just pop that on there and we're ready to pour so what colors am i using let's have a look uh i'm gonna go with ultramarine blue i've got a little bit of turquoise there i've got some of my crimson red and my, some gold and then I'm also going to put some flashes of black and white in there just a little bit and yes I am going to use my new toy this will allow me to pour around where the ridges are um, and then hopefully come up around the top so let me set up the other camera so that we can see what's going on as well as fill up our paint pot. So, um, all right. So, let's just move that out of the way for a minute while we fill up our pot. And uh, so... I don't want a lot of black I want it to stay mostly um, mostly colors <laughs> so I'm gonna start off with oh, 
graphics are these is the next question when you're doing 3d it does pay to have slightly thicker paint and I have only just mixed these Let's see. Gonna put in a little bit of white, just blob that through. And again, just a little bit of black. Literally just a little bit. Let's go in a little bit more gold and turquoise. Let's use up the last of the turquoise. And I haven't got any silicon in any of this. So before I put the next row of colour in, I'm just going to take my CRC silicon spray and just give that a bit of a, a bit of a spray. You never know what that's gonna create, do we? Um now just remember the the last colours on top of here will be the last colours out. So I'm just gonna Give us a bit more. <clears throat> and then what I'm what I'm gonna do before I actually start pouring, I am going to uh, give this a big wipe down with a brush with this, this leftover black. So let's oh I just had a spillage. I don't want that on my bottom of my tray. That tray actually has a material base to it, so I don't actually want any paint on that. All right, let's bring this back in line for you guys to see. And grab my silicon brush. I'm not going to bother putting it up around the top here. What I am going to do is put it around the bottom so that when it comes over the edges, it has something to run on. Um, when you do this, you do need to then get onto your actual painting quite quickly so that this doesn't then dry and just generally be a waste of paint and no I haven't taped it all up down the bottom I've literally just left it as it is why because this is an ornament this is not going to then be sealed and used as an actual paint um, an actual helmet Although you could do that if you wanted to, I'm sure of it. And hey, if this comes out good, I might do that to my next one. But that is, we'll see how this goes. You might see me do my new one, seal it. It's an expensive canvas if you screw it up though really, isn't it? <laughs> All right, the other thing about doing the visor like this is it does give it a complete coverage. Right, so 
I'm going to put my gloves back on. Ah, I should have done this. Duh. Should have put gloves on before I started this. Oh well. Let's see how my new nails hold out. <laughs> Had my nails painted for the first time in um, about four years. So, so as I said, I'm going to start pouring down the bottom just to give it some definite. We've got some cells starting to show through, although this paint is pretty thick. I don't know how that is, well that's going to, no that's not going to work. Oh that's cool. Oh, I like that. Oh. <laughs> we seem to have a patch around the back there that missed out. According to my camera. Oh, that is delicious. You know what, the only problem is, you never ever can repeat it. So if I end up wishing I'd done this on my first, on my new helmet, it ain't ever gonna happen like that. But that silicon has come through. We have got a funky as look all around. And I am loving that. Absolutely loving it. And just let that rest of that paint just run out into the tray. And we do have a slight problem. <laughs> uh. <laughs> that looks cool. <laughs> uh, what's the slight problem, you might ask? Well, um. It's going to drip for a little while, and I don't want this to start drying. Hmm. All right. Just running some water into my... so that that doesn't get all paint dried on. I'm doing this in a bit of a rush and I should have waited and I should be should have been a good girl and done it after work but I am not so all right let me give you a bit of a close-up of the whole thing. I have not um, done a, use the torch at all because I think we've got enough cells in there. 
this is the back of the head can you imagine somebody riding past you with a helmet like this on <laughs> obviously you'd need to keep a clear face Oops, can you even see that? Sorry. Hee <laughs> hee, it's so cool. I'm so happy. Ugh! Sorry. Alright. So, I'm just going to move that straight over to my drying area and work on the tray before we lose that forever more. So, cross your fingers for me. I'm going in. I'm just holding the plastic containers. Oh my god, that's so cool. Ah! <laughs> happy, happy, happy. Right. We have quite a bit of paint in here. There is some funky stuff going on. Let's just... Spread that around a bit. I think we've probably got enough paint and we won't need to add more. I may need to do the edges. I will need to do the edges with either black or probably black. But let's tilt. Ah, uh, hold on. I'm just going to hold it by its handles and I'm just hoping this does come out looking cool if it doesn't it's okay too Get it right into that corner and then bring it back across. Just fill up that area in the middle. Yeah, see, look, we do have enough paint. Bring it back down to that other corner. Okay, so this isn't the prettiest of prettiest of paintings, but there's plenty of silicon in there, so what could I do? Let's give it a little bit of a torching. Not a fan, not a fan at all. So, what could I do here? Um, So this is my base paint. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to gather 
that paint up into the middle if I can find my bended spatula this one will do so let's just bring that all in There were some really lovely bits in that, but then I'm just going to pour a ring around that. I'm going to torch bring up some cells and then I'm going to stretch mm, I need a little bit more white over this side This is fun, if nothing else. Alright. <laughs> I'm going to leave it there, guys. I have to get to work and um, covered in paint so I'm gonna go I adore you I will be back in a few seconds your time to show you the end result of this and uh, that will be in three two one well this is a really really good example of how colors change when they try <laughs> check out how dark this has gone oh my goodness me wowza i'm going to hazard a bet that there is a large proportion of translucency in the red which has then you know look there's plenty of gold up there on the top still I love that piece there. That, that almost looks like a, um, a bird of prey. Can you see that? Um, but there's a bit of, bit of cracking. Well, it's not actually cracking. Like, I can't feel it. It's where the colours have torn. Just ever so slightly. It's that whole 3D painting scenario um where it's just started to create a skin on the top <coughs> and it um moves just that fraction more and you're like no <laughs> So 
it's things like this that make me go, mm, would I do it on a future actual real helmet that I was going to wear? I tell you what, I really love it. I love it far more than I would like, love a black one. <clears throat> the, I was talking to Glenn about it, about whether or not to do my new helmet. And he's like, well, you'd need to be really sure that the, whatever you use on it does not affect the structural integrity of the, um, of the helmet. Because, you know, you don't want to lessen its effectiveness if you do actually have a crash. I do prefer the colours that it was when I poured it. That's a definite. Um, the brightness, the the excitedness. Um, I showed Mum photos of the before and after, the dry and the wet, and she's like, "Oh, I really like the dry," and I was like, "That's so typical. Her and I's tastes are very different." Um, so if I was to do this as a, um, on a real helmet, obviously the, the easiest way to deal with it, I think, would be to just completely take off the visor and tape that area up. Um, and then you wouldn't have to worry about trying to clean the visor later. Um, I was just, I've been thinking about what could you do with this and it, um, the, the idea of, you know, sort of blacking this out and putting some sort of warning message, um, on it as a, as an art installation. But yeah, I... Other than other than this, this me upsets me a little bit. It's not so as perfect as I would like it to be, but it is it it is its own piece, and that's the thing. I really love this bit here. And exceedingly love this bit up here. That to me is yummy. So let me know in the comments what do you think? It's would not it would brighten a little bit back up once you seal it, um, but not as much as it was when it was first poured. And so let me know in the comments what do you think? What would you what would you consider pouring on or not pouring on? Oh, and how did the tray come out? Yep, as well. That also darkened. I didn't like it to start with and I still don't particularly like it. So that will more than likely get painted over at some point. But the star of the show, of course, is the helmet. How does it get any better than this? What else can I pour on? How much more fun can I have? I adore you guys. I hope you're enjoying my videos. If you are, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Give it a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments. What would you like me to pour on or pour through? Or what colour combinations would you like me to play with? I'd love to hear your feedback, your suggestions. And um, also let me know what's the weirdest thing you've ever poured on. Um, yeah. Anyway, guys, have fun. I hope you've had an amazing Easter, whatever your belief systems are around the world. Um, it, to me, it is a time of family. We went up and spent some time with my mum, who is, yes, thank you for all your comments and care, caring posts. Um, she is doing much better. She is still got a little way to go but she is definitely improving every day so that's exciting and 
We went for a walk around the Hamilton Gardens, insert photos here. Uh, <laughs> and um, yeah, had lots of fun. So I adore you. Ha hope you're having fun. And I will see you again in the next video. Bye.